Hey, and welcome to Vid Society. In this video, I wanna show you guys a free screen recording tool you can use to record reviews for products, digital products, or even do your own training videos, courses, or whatever it is you need to record from your screen. Now, normally I would recommend to use a tool that I use such as Camtasia, but it's expensive. And why do that when there are free alternatives? So below this video, I'll put the links to all the resources I'm going to mention, plus other links that you may be interested in if you do video marketing. So this is a video that I recorded here a while back for the release of my new product. And basically what I did is if you go through this video, you can see where I walk you through this course and I show you what it is simply by recording the desktop screen. Now, this is a powerful way to promote different types of digital products, courses, or even physical product. In fact, if you own my YT Influencer course, I even show you how you can record uh, physical products that you don't even own and make affiliate sales from those. So what we're gonna be looking at is a tool called Screen Rec. And if you wanna check it out, just go to screenrec.com or just click on the link below this video. It'll take you here to this website where you can download it 100% free, at least as of today, it is free. Now with this, you can record up to five minutes. If you register for a free account, which just requires your name and your email address and a password, you can record unlimited videos and even get two gigabytes of cloud storage to store it in the cloud. Now, if we scroll down on this page, what makes it so powerful is, of course, it is free, but it's very simple to use. And not only can you record your screen, but if you have a webcam and if you want to record your face, you can do that too. You can also take screenshots. So not only can you record video, but you can capture individual images. They will give you a link that you can even share with others if you want to. You can annotate your screenshots. You can share it. It does have complete privacy. There's analytics and even content manage where you can tag your files and add them to different collections. So all you have to do to get started is click on download free. Now, once you save it to your computer, you're gonna be redirected to a screen that looks like this, which tells you how to download it if you're using Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer or Edge. Next, you can start recording that fast just by hitting the alternate plus the S button on your keyboard. But before you do that, you'll wanna go into your settings and make a few changes. So down here on the bottom in your taskbar, you're gonna see a bunch of little icons on your computer. You should see one here that looks like a red target. If you don't have that, click the little arrow. It's going to show you the rest of your icons up here. You'll probably find it in this area. And all you have to do is click it and drag it down here among your other icons that are showing. And then you'll be able to see it. Now, once you do that, you're going to right click on it. And you're going to see you have some options here. First of all, alternate S allows you to bring up the recorder. So you can take a screenshot or you can start video recording. Next is your image gallery. So once you sign up for a free account, you're gonna have access to a gallery. After that, you can also go to your settings. And here on your settings, you can see where I am logged in, where I created a free account. I have two gigabytes of free cloud storage, unlimited recording. I can even record in HD or 4K. And there are no watermarks and it's for personal and commercial use. And then down here, you can choose which webcam or microphone you want to use that you have hooked up to your computer. Next is your recording quality. I recommend you use HD for this. This is going to give you the best quality and take up the least amount of room on your computer and your cloud storage. But if you're not concerned about that, you can always do 4K and get the highest quality video, but it will take longer to edit and render. Then down here, you're gonna see where it says shortcut, start, stop, capture. So this is the code you're gonna use when you want to start and stop recording. So let's go ahead and close this and try it out. So right here, it says to get started, all we have to do is hit alternate and S. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we can see a purple box pops up here. If you don't see this yet, it simply means you haven't registered for a free account. Make sure you do that, it is free. It says here, left click and drag to take a screenshot or video. So remember the area that you capture here, you can either take a picture of it or you can take a video. So if you wanna record your entire screen, you wanna come up to the top corner, click and then drag it all the way down to the bottom. Let up. And when you do that, you're gonna see where you have options now to take a screenshot or to start video recording. So let's go ahead and start video recording.
So now we're recording the video. You can see my mouse moving on the screen. You can also see this video here. And let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And let's just say, for example, maybe we're doing a review on this product. Well, why would we want to do that for? It's free. Well, yes, it's free, but think about it. If you do a review on a product like this, you can rank for keywords such as free screen recorders or best screen recorders for recording your desktop. These get a lot of searches. And if you have a YouTube channel that's monetized with ads, it can bring in a lot of traffic, a lot of views, which can ultimately earn you quite a bit in ad revenue. Now, another way to think about that is you can also record something like this and then show how you use it to make money online and then share it and then maybe put affiliate links under your video for related products like I have underneath my video in the description box. OK, let's go ahead and stop recording. We're going to hit alternate S again. And now it says your private sharing link is ready. I can open the link here or I can open up the gallery and view it. So the recording's been saved not only on my hard drive, but also in the cloud. Now, if I want to view this, all I have to do is come down to my target and click on it. Go to gallery. And as long as you've created your free account, you're going to be able to access this because this is your cloud storage where it's going to hold up to two gigabytes of whatever it is you're recording or taking screen captures of. Now you can see that I have two different recordings on here. This is the one that I just recorded. If I hover over it, I can preview it. I can get a shareable link that I can send to somebody else. Maybe I want to show them something. Let's say, for example, I found some kind of a bug in their software. I can record the screen, get this link, share it with them. So there's a lot of benefits to using this tool other than just recording videos and editing them for product reviews or I can delete it. I'm going to click on preview and now we can see the video player here and we can see my recording. Now on the bottom left, you're going to see here where I can copy the shareable link once again, or I can also download this and save it to my computer. Why would I want to do this if it's already saved to my computer? Well, it's kind of hard to find the files that it saves to your computer because they hide them away pretty good. So if you can't find them, you can always come in here, preview your video, and download it and save it to some place where you know where it's at on your computer. Now, if we scroll to the bottom, you're going to see a list of FAQs. And if we go down here, you're going to see a section where it says, where does screen rec store all of the recordings? So if I click on this, it's going to show you here for windows. This is where it's going to be at. Now, if you can't find this, really all you have to do is just take this part here where it says streaming video provider, copy it, go to your folders, Go to your C drive and come up to search and paste streaming video provider in here. Now, once you do that, you want it to give time to search and then it should bring up the folder and show you where it's at so you can click on it and access your videos. Now, if you have problems finding where your videos are on your computer, you can always send them a support ticket just like I did. And they actually replied within five minutes, which was very surprising for a free tool. So what do we do now that we have our screen recording done and we want to edit it? We want to open up a free editing tool called CapCut. Once this is open, you're going to click on new project, import. All I have to do is click on the video that I just created, click open. And now we have it inside here where we can edit it. So I can bring this down to the timeline. And from here, I can drag this bar over and I can start editing it and removing all the parts that I don't want. It's as simple as that. When this is done, we're going to export it, save the file to our desktop and upload it to YouTube. Simple to do with two very powerful and free tools to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.